Hi everyone. Welcome to Fingers Fums and Fits, and in this episode of Titty Piddle we are continuing with the heroes from Dungeon Saga Origins. This time, it's Dan or the Human Wizard. Can I keep the paint inside the lines? Let's find out. We start off with a base coat of Corax White. We then had a few colors to block in, starting with XV88 on the trousers and under sash thing, and Black Templar on his shoes. His tunic got a splash of Mephiston Red. Rhinox hide was then applied to his tacit, collar, staff, and book. And the other leather details got some XV88. As he's a pasty human wizard, his skin got pallid witch flesh. Now for a bit of shading. First, snakebite leather was applied to the trousers, sash and leather details. His tunic got a wash of Caraburg crimson, and the staff got a dry brush of Ricarth flesh before receiving some seraphim sepia. His pasty skin got a wash of Gulliman flesh, and his hair got some black Templar. I added some magical energy by painting Tesseract glow over the crystal on his staff, and also on whatever he's holding in his other hand. Now, time for some highlighting. Starting with some Evil Sun Scarlet on the tunic. The leather details got a highlight of Ricarth flesh. This also included the collar and tacit. His flesh was layered back up to pallid witch flesh, and his hair got a slight dry brush of administratum grey. All that was left was to add some Beal Tan Green to the base of the magical crystal, and some white scar to the tip. And there we have a completed wizard. So, what do we think? Did I manage to keep the paint inside the lines? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next one. Have a great day everyone, and I'll see you later.